All right, it is time for Chrono Trigger. Man, I am... <laughs> We're, what, four hours in and three episodes? It's not too bad. So, last time we... Kind of looked around here, there's that hero... What's his name? Tata? basic idea seems to be seems to be that the hero is trying to get the Masamune at the Denodoro Mountains. So here we are. We're gonna follow him. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll fight some battles. <laughs> really? Four damage? Now you guys are weak. surprise if they That means Luca's gonna do random things like attack Chrono until she gets hit. Which fr thankfully didn't take very long. So we're back out of the area where the enemies are all highly uh, resistant to all attacks except magic. So we'll be able to use our regular attacks again. Someone that if uh, you hit him with fire, that solves the problem. And you don't even have to use actually fire magic, you can just use some. Um, what do you call it? Um, her uh, non magical fire attack. goes, it's not really necessary to worry too much about, um, <clears throat> like, uh, min-maxing your weapons. It's basically, get a new weapon, equip it. Which isn't such a bad thing. Are so limited in this game that it's not 
not entirely crazy that you might just, you know, push through fight-wise. So the trick seems to be that Chrono can take out a goblin in one hit. Luca can spend one MP, turn an Ogan into a goblin. And then we can take him out at a leisure. level down. Why don't we bring him along for a while? We need Luca because of her fire magic, but... Yeah, hello. It's not like we've leveled up in any significant way, so I'm uh, a little surprised at how easy the combat is. characters mid-dungeon. that we'd see it in the first couple episodes, but we haven't seen it yet, so I'm just kind of mentioning it. Mid-tonic? How do we get that chest? Ah, here we go. The borders of the map are a little tough to see sometimes. Patterns, but <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa. oh, come on.
for that cave. For this cave. This is purely pedestrian. should have done it, whether I wanted to or not. Seeing as how, uh, he gave us a silver earring. Uh, the silver earring is a really good item. Or no, it's not. Never mind. I was thinking of the gold earring. Never mind. later.
more treasure chests over there that we're going to want to try to get to. Spin cut, napalm, max cycle, fire sword. Wow. So spin cut is one of Chrono's most important skills. It is... Yeah, there we go. It is very important because... Wait, no, 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 no! So Spin Cut is important because Spin Cut pairs with almost every elemental spell to do serious uh, damage. Elemental damage, too. As a straight up move, Spin Cut's not really that interesting. What it basically does is it's uh, twice Chrono's attack power. And since Chrono has really high um, uh, critical possibility, it's really not that useful in under normal circumstances, but the paired skills that you get with it, those are important. I want that treasure chest. There we go. Silver stud. That's what I was looking for. MP is cut by 50%. Basically, the idea is that that's going to go on our healer. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to go on our healer. Whoever the healer in the party is right now. And right now, the healer in the party is Robo. these guys one more time. Okay. 
I forgot that he gives you that. Here we have Masa Amune. Cyrus before. He was a knight of uh, Guardian, right? Guardian? The main castle. Now we have a much more interesting fight. And different boss music, too. We're going to want to make sure that we keep our good points. 
what's up in this fight. Dissipated with slashes or something. Yeah. Okay, Luke is gonna need some help. Very flashy, but they do a lot of damage. Right to the base of the mountain, so we're good to go. <laughs> <Boop. laughs> it just kicks us out. It's beautiful. Let's see. just sits outside. Just 
give him a quick look around. And I guess his name is Tata. Sounds like something to do with a controller. And now everybody's all... It was worth a try. So 
now that we have both the Masamune and the Hero Medal... One left. Hey, wait. What are you? What was that? was the uh, other piece of the puzzle. So we gotta get back to Medina Village. points at this point, but because we can't avoid every fight.
because I I forged it. It's <laughs> yeah. Stone once used his money. Convenient. Time warps are. Oh, oh crap. again. Yes. And we've met Ayla.
Berserker. Oh, is that... Right, right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch him out there. We're gonna give her the silver stud. Today that you get an opportunity to hunt dinosaurs. They got good physical defense. All physical attacks. That is not so good. Step up. Hey, we've seen these guys before. Okay, these guys aren't so bad. Thunder stuns all dinosaurs. Was the level headed one?
A button much times. And I'm not using the turbo function on my controller. <laughs> there are no continues, my friend. So those horn pedal feather fang things we were getting, uh, you get those from the enemies normally. You get lots of them from the hunting grounds. And south to forest maze. Oh boy. I guess we're heading into the forest maze. Not much else we can do. Oh, here's Kino. Ayla's running animation is pretty excellent. <laughs> she is fast and powerful. Follow the tracks. Inevitably, that's what we're gonna have to do to, f to follow the reptites that, uh... That's weird. It's almost like a random encounter. They weren't even on screen. They just show up. Huh. It's alright. These guys are 
nice and pretty easy. except for all these tracks out here. Chests are actually fairly well camouflaged. If, wait, wait, what's going on here? There we go. All right, so we got some advice, right? Lightning stuns all dinosaurs. There's a cure spell. It's a stronger cure spell. Very good for Marley. There's that treasure chest down there that I want to get. Oh, I guess we could have gone either way, huh?
his wing damage is just a bit clumsy hit points, so... We've cleared out this area. I think we got all the treasure as well. They dropped a feather, but... choice of pitfall. Wow, her defense is through the roof. Oh, and just for uh, notice, the Ruby Vest knocks out fire attacks by 50%. Her power is nuts. She doesn't use weapons, she just uses her bare hands. Okay, fine. We'll fight the reptites. We already know this takes a out. I 
probably made the fire lightning fan first. That's irritating. Oh, she was, that was a counter. Awesome. so bad. Oh, is it like a... Thing worth knowing. Oh, wrong button. Okay, we're not using Molly right now, so we will equip her with anything else. spin cut of his alarm.
it's a boss fight. Of course. Bosses are gradually increasing in difficulty. <laughs> Yoink.
Okay. So, items that we have. Organize. You use three of any pair. So I can do, like, horn... F um, you know what I'm going to do. Over the course of the game, we'll probably get a chance to do... In fact, we will probably aim for a chance to do every combination. Reason being that some of these items are kind of interesting. So let me just... <clears throat> just write down some things real quick because because it probably would be worth it for us to get this right We might actually go to the hunting grounds to get this right. Alright. So there are six combinations. And we can do a few of them right now. Maybe we'll do... Petal Horn... Fang Feather Petal Fang. So we'll do Petal and Fang. Ruby Gun. Heck yeah. Trade some more. Then we'll do Petal and Horn. Sage Bow. us out as far as that goes, which is fine. Because some of these items are actually pretty good. Big increase for her. And for her as well. So that's pretty good. So we're going to head to the hunting grounds, which I think are up here. No, that's the dactyl nest. We don't need that yet. That's the wrong button. There's a map function. Hunting range. too hard. Like, you know. Now, there's not too much going on. It's not too complicated.
really, if you're willing to just throw MP at them, it's not that hard. Someone mentioned this in town. Basically, there's a special creature that appears during the rain, if you can find them. Yeah, we didn't find them. Not that time. Yeah, nothing there. Or no luck that time either. just respawn, which is kind of nice. I was kind of hoping that I could find the... Oh, there he is. Are we going to make it to him in time? Almost certainly not. Odds are low. We didn't make it. I'd like to show this off. But it may in fact be that I cannot. I don't think he's going to be in the same place, but it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, he's not. You have to get pretty lucky. You have to see him and have him be someplace where you can reach him while the rain goes on. the enemies don't respawn. I guess I just hadn't fought those ones yet. Oh, got him. A 
that her cure heals more than if you have hit points, pretty much anybody. It's a very powerful spell. Lots of tech points. Three each. And he's gone. A third eye. Oh, I forgot about that. Double evade. That is a really, really cool item. We're doing that. Alright, so that's the hunting grounds. And if I am not mistaken, I think we have enough of everything to finish trading here. Welcome, he says. Okay, so we've done all the petal combinations. Oh, but except, I wonder if you can do double of... Well, we'll figure that out. Fang. And more Fang. Same no good, okay. Fang and Feather. Ruby Vest. Now, the Ruby Vest is the armor that Ayla was wearing. It's very good. Especially against enemies that use fire on you. So we're probably going to want to get more of those. Horn plus Feather. Rock Helm. probably want more of these, too. All the other ones are weapons, so we only really need one of each. Fang and Feather. Yeah, we can get four Ruby Vests if we're going for it. Horn and Feather. So we have enough ruby vests to give everybody one. The flint edge is a nice little bonus for him. Rock helm. Ruby vest. He's already got the rock helm. Ruby vest. It's important to note that the ruby vest does not give you, like, a weakness to ice or anything like that. It just gives you defense against fire. So it's pretty much a... A, a big win. Okay. So that is pretty good for, I think, everybody. I think we are finished with this era for now.
avoid them when we can. Especially since we've already fought a bunch of them. Yeah, jump in. Some dreamstone. How did you do that? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to know. I'll just fix this thing. Masamune, we are going to take it to Frog next time, and then we'll see what happens next. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you are enjoying this as much as I have. Ah, Chrono Trigger. This is really one of the best. I mean, if you have to get a game on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, Chrono Trigger is up there. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next week.